Well, looks like we're back here again. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so, like you saw in the intro right there, both our champion teams are featured right here in the intro, and now it is time for us to do some after-game stuff, because, yeah, I totally forgot that there was some after-game stuff that we needed to take care of, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so in my last episode, we actually defeated the league champion of Galar, Leon, mm-hmm, mopped the floor with him, and I did say at the end credits that I was going to take a small break from Pokemon Sword and Shield so I get to learn a little bit more about the other, you know, the after-games. But there is one thing. There is a post-game to this whole championship deal that I have to do before I go to the Isle of Armor and the, uh, the, the Crown Tundra. So, might as well do it before the end of May, right? Right? Okay, so here we are back home inside our room. And, well, as you can see, we're doing our thing. And somebody is knocking at the door. Please don't let it be Hop. Nope. It's the Professor Magnolia. Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you, for you as a celebration. And look at that, we get ourselves a Master Ball. Best believe we're going to get that in Shield version as well. So, the Master Ball here is the best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you can catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Professor Magnolia, why why you didn't have to come all this way? After everything David has achieved, it's really it's the le it really it's the least I can do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened by Dynamax, or Dynamax energy flooded the whole region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Draven and his friends came to the rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of uh, Galarian culture. I hope everybody will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So young Draven, Please, do what you believe is best. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> coughing here, coughing. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Okay, alrighty, so... Like I said, guys, we won the Pokemon League in Galar, so now we are a Galar League champions. And, well, this is where the adventure begins right here, guys, because, well, there's a little bit more to this game than just winning a championship and all that stuff. Uh, apparently, there's just a little bit more to do, and, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and not do that. There we go. So, the town map, where are you going to be taking me right now? So, there is nothing right here on the red that says that you need to go here or there. But, at the beginning of this whole episode, I believe there was quite a, a clue there. And that was, go into the slumbering wheel, because uh, we need to grab a little something. But, before we do anything, guys, after you defeat the champion, you can actually go straight to uh, Hop and Leon's home right here. And actually pick up a little something useful. So, let's go right ahead and enter this door right here. And go straight to the mama, talk to her. You know, the last time Leon came around, he actually took his time and enjoyed a meal with us. It's been ages since I've seen him like that. Maybe we should all get together for another barbecue again sometime. That is true. Now, there is a little something that you can grab after defeating Leon in the championship battle. Now, you just have to go to his room, I believe. And there it is. There is a Pokeball right there waiting for you. Read it. And it says, there is a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. You read the letter attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this, Draven, then I'm leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Charmander. And, well, you guys already know what I'm going to nickname this guy. So here is a Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. Two feet, 18 pounds of pure cuteness. It has a preference of hot stings. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. Now, yes, we are going to give this guy a nickname, and we're not going to give it a one or a two or a three. No, we're going to give him a one, or we're just going to nickname him the way we want to nickname him right here. So say hello again 
to Godzilla Godzilla. Holy crud, it has been a while. I've been waiting for you. Now, you can actually capture Charm uh, Charmanders in the in the wild over at the Dynamaxing area. The only thing is, they're not as special as this one right here. Because, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So, let's go ahead and put this guy into our party right here. And, well, the Pokemon, the odd man out right now is going to have to be Dumbledore because, well, it is pretty slow right now. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon that we have. Godzilla, Godzilla, male and everything. Take a look at the X by the name. This is a very, very special uh, Charmander because it can Dynamax into its special form and use its special attacks just like, you know, um, what's his name? Leon tried to do. As you can see, it does have, let's see, where is it? It does have Blaze as its ability and it powers up every move and all that crud. Its stats are Will and let's see, it does have a careful nature and all that stuff too. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be using, or we're going to have this guy on our team. We're going to evolve the crap out of it. That's right. We're going to evolve it because we can. And, well, it is time for us to actually take care of business because there, there's business to be taken care of now. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Quack or the Fowl right here. And let's get on our bike and go straight to the slumbering wheel because we got some things to take care of right here. Uh, so we won the Pokemon League Championship. We saved all of Galar from utter destruction of Dynamax Pokemon. And now we have to go into the slumbering wheel and take care of business right here. If you may have remembered, this is actually the location where we spotted the legendary uh, Pokemon. Well, I'm, I'm, I was so close to calling them the legendary dog Pokemon, but I, I don't know what to call them. The legendary sword and shield Pokemon? Probably? I don't know. Okay, so, wow, we don't really have... Wow, we don't have that much... Uh, let's see, hold on. We gotta sort this thing out. Okay, so it looks like to me we don't have a lot of repels and stuff. We only got one, so... Yeah, we gotta make them... Ha yeah, we gotta make them work. <laughs> okay, so just one repel. That's all we need. Let's go and not get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. Now, this is where we found the uh, the legendary Pokemon right here. Now, the thing is, in normal... Oh, wow. Really? Never mind. In uh, regular Pokemon games, you would normally capture the legendary Pokemon, the, well, the, the mascot Pokemon, before beating the Elite Four. But in this case, they actually helped us beat... Uh, what was it? Uh... What was, what was it Pokemon called? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Eternatus, yes. It helped us beat Eternatus from, you know, the Dynamaxing issue and all that stuff. And now right here, this is going to be a whole story about them and how they fit into the story of the, of the, uh, well, the two po or the two Pokemon Kings right here to save all of Galar now. I'm trying to find my way around here, and I think I'm going around in a circle right here. Yeah, going around in a circle, okay. Now, there's another thing, too, about this. I will be showcasing both versions, uh, the difference between both versions right here still. As you probably already noticed, I've showcased the, the, the intro between both Pokemon Sword and Shield. So here we are at the very end, and well, this is where things get interesting. Foggy, it's getting very, very foggy, and well, let's see what happens now. Okay, so if you guys remember, this was where we found the two legendary dog Pokemon. I just said it. Dog Pokemon. Whatever. They look like dogs to me. And, oh my god, are you freaking serious, man? Oh my god, okay. I guess we're going to have to go talk to Hop. Man, I thought, like, I thought after beating him so many times that he would just leave us the heck alone. But no, he's still going to try and be around and all that stuff. So here's Hop, and he's, like, he's going to be like, Huh, Draven, what are you doing out here in the woods? Uh, truth is... Oh, you say you say you felt something was calling you here, huh? That's... Well, that, that may... That may... That's pretty uncanny. I've been thinking, you know, maybe the reason Zassian and Zamazenta chose us... Uh, chose a place like this to sleep... To, to sleep was because no one ever comes here and it's so quiet all the time. Oh, 
but I had uh, I hadn't for I had to or I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Draven. Honestly, Draven, I never thought you'd uh, manage to beat my brother, the greatest champion in Galar uh, Galar has ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, Draven, you're amazing. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Well, I did whoop your butt quite a few times and all that stuff. Draven, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Oh, God. Sure, why not? I take pleasure in mopping the floor with your candy ass. Thanks, Draven. Then show me the strength that, that you defeated Lee, the greatest champion we've ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. Okay, so... I guess... I guess we're gonna indulge you in this battle right here, so let's see. Yeah, Godzilla is going to be a Charizard in no time right here, so let's go right ahead and just beat the crap out of this guy. So, here we go! This'll be a serious battle. You ready for, uh, for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it! So here it is, guys. Another battle against our rival Hop. And he likes to slap himself, just to hype himself up. Yeah, you're really not going to do much, man. I already got your game plan down. So here we go, going up against a double, his very, 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 very first Pokemon. And we got Quack or the Foul. Look at this. Oh, yes, Quack or the Foul. Meteor Assault. Of course, there's a co there's Cotton uh, Guard, and I don't know what that does. Oh, that is increasing the crud out of his, uh, his defense right here. So here comes Meteor Assault. And look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Defeated. Double has been getting its butt kicked. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. And, oh my god, Godzilla is growing levels. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at that, look at that. At level 18, Godzilla, Godzilla is now at level 18. Holy crud. And he wants to learn a few uh, new moves, so let's go ahead and teach him. Uh, you know what? Take away Growl. Oh, yes, in no time, Godzilla, Godzilla right here is going to kick some ass, take some names. And it's learning Fire Fang, too, so... It's actually a very good thing about this game, too, is that, you know, um, if a Pokemon grows multiple levels within one single battle, it doesn't forget the moves that it will try and learn. A lot of other games do, do that. And, well, this guy's coming out with a Corviknight, so let's go right ahead and use Blitzkrieg. Oh, yes. Blitzkrieg bop. Here we go. Blitzkrieg. Okay, so Corviknight, you're looking all mean. You're looking like a big ol' iron chicken and all that stuff. <clears throat> An iron chicken. So, let's go with an overdrive right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo! Man, we are making up look... Yeah, we're making them look bad. And, well, Godzilla, Godzilla is growing another level right here to level 22. So, we're just going to keep on switching out the moves. And whatnot, and look at that, Godzilla learned Slash. Alright, so he's coming out with a Snorlax right here. So, let's go straight back to Quack or the Foul, since it is very, very strong. Very awesome, and everything else will be queen right there. So, here we go, Quack or the Foul. Let's go. And here comes Snorlax. Look at this guy, all jiggly and all that crud. So, here we go, Meteor Assault yet again, because we are faster than this guy. Look at this. I love this move. Woo! No mercy. No mercy. Oh, yeah. Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, this guy can't even get off a move right now. Holy crud. Godzilla at level 25. And it's learning flamethrowers. So look at this. Already in one battle, it's gained 20 levels. So that's, uh, that, that's pretty awesome right there. That is very, very awesome. And, well, there's a flamethrower. Now... He wants to come out with a Cramorant. So, let's go straight back to Blitzkrieg. This guy, seriously, man, you got to switch up your team uh, your team members. You got the same, the same typing here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Cramorant one more time. This guy right here is a powerful Pokemon because it likes to use some BS moves right here. So, here we go. 
Oh, yes. Overdrive does it again. Cremorant, not feeling it. Oh, yes. We are stomping the yard with this guy right here. And look at this. Godzilla at level 26. So he's going to be coming out with Inteleon. I'm staying put. <laughs> with only two Pokemon, man. Only two Pokemon. I'm beating your team. And wow, you're finally getting a shot off of us. Here's a snipe shot on us. And that right there kind of works. And look at that. Inteleon has been defeated. <laughs> Woo! Stomping the yard with you. And look at that. Godzilla grows to level 28 while Baconator finally reaches level 80. And, well, it wants to learn Scary Face. I do not want to teach that. So let's just go ahead and not do that. And, well, he's going to come out with one more Pokemon right here. And I got the I got the person for the job. Let's go right ahead and bring out Optimus Prime. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so it's time. It is time that the Super Saiyan 3 starter Pokemon right here is about to kick some candy ass. Let's go with a bulldoze attack. Bulldoze for the win. Say goodbye. I do not know how to pronounce your name, so I'm just gonna be like bye-bye. And, well, look at this. Godzilla grows to level 29. Yeah, we just whooped that ass. <laughs> flipping you off, Hop. I'm flipping you off. I'd expect there to be so much gap between you and me, mate. Dude, there's always been a huge gap. This is just the biggest one we've had so far. Holy crap. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we stomped the yard with him. And just like that, we get ourselves... Charmander to evolve. Yes. I think within I think within this episode we're gonna have a Charizard. Look at that. Say hello to Charmeleon right here. And well, it's going straight to our Pokedex. And look at that. Charmeleon, three foot seven, forty-one pounds of pure viciousness. It has a barbaric nature. In battle, it whips its fiery tail around and slashes away with its sharp claws. Oh, yes, and it's probably going to learn the move. I don't know, but Hop right here is just reminiscing. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. Nope. Not one way. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't you two again. Well, hello there. The girlfriend's looking pretty nice right there. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I was wondering what all that noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Draven, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Taking it in, uh, taking it in stride like it's like it's your due, eh? You're a cheeky thing. Nah, stop it. You're a cheeky thing. You're a cheeky thing too. You're looking fantastic today. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant anymore. In fact, I'm the professor now. Oh damn! That just made her so much more hotter for me. I don't know about this guy. Wow, okay, calm down, calm down. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of, of the Galar region. And I came to care about uh, care for the Pokemon even more than I could uh, ha had ever had before. Ah, here. It's a book I wrote. And she even signed it. Completely forgot to uh, read that part. And as you can see, we get ourselves a copy of Sonya's book. Autographed and everything. Mm. Smells like her too, because she put some perfume for me, not for you, Hop. That's how it is. Professor Sonia's published writings, her new discoveries about the Gala region's legends, are recorded in this enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy, lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Aw, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your, co your copy later. <laughs> yeah, that's how much she cares about you. Anyway, I got my grand's blessing and put on a first book under my own name. I think you guys, you can expect great things from the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I expect so. Sonia, Draven, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, that I that's it, isn't it? You were putting the rusted, uh, the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding on to the, them forever, right? 
We, we were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. <laughs> we were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What do you think that you two, uh, you two are besties now with Zacian and Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Draven. Why you, uh, why you felt like you were, uh, you were called here? Let's put the sword and shield back in the proper place, or, uh, or say a proper thanks for the, all the help. Wow, I can't even read right now. Maybe if we do, we'll uh, get to see Zacian and Zamazenta again someday. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do that kind of thing and uh, put these weapons back in their proper place. Alright, return the rusted sword. In Pokemon uh, Shield, you'll see me put the rusted shield and all that stuff, what have you. So yes, we're going to do that. Zacian, Zamazenta. Thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics uh, and all. Look at that. Back in their proper place. You and Hopper turned the rusted sword and rusted shield. All right, that's about uh, that. That about settles that. Oh, Draven, why don't you and I head back? What are you going to do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm. My power spark detector is going off. Well, 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 I thought I heard something making noise some over here. Holy crap, hold on, hold on. Who the heck? Oh, crud. Well, well, well. You wouldn't be the Professor Sonia or wo who woke the book Gallery History? Uh, y hello, you bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from a cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it to one star. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? There are no lies printed on the book. That's just plain rude. I am Sword, And I am Shilbert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you, uh, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, 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 could these things be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I hear they, uh, to, I, I fear to touch them with my bare hands. And look at that, they took the sword and the shield. Huh. Okay, so that was that for nothing. And well, Hop is just yelling out loud. And he's like, hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We're only supposed- we only happen to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove them to- uh, you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But... There's no way anyone can prove to those- uh, prove those- who those ancient things belong to. Even- it, even we can't prove it. They're really important to Zacian and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a problem. And yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle? We're celebrities who buy battles, or buy battles for twice what we're worth. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Sword, am your opponent. Okay, so here we are, battling uh, Sword. Sword, uh, sword Ward! Dude, your hairdo looks like a dick. I'm just gonna say that right now. So here we go, taking on uh, Sorderd, and it looks like it's going to be a battle of Quack or the Fowls right here. Now, I am going to showcase me taking on Shieldert, or Shieldert, or whatever his name is. The two dickhead brothers. I I'd like to call him that, the two dickhead brothers. So here we go, Brave Bird. We are faster than this guy right here. Brave Bird for the win. Look at that. Eat it. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Woo! Look at that. Okay, so that guy is down, and of course, Cracker is going to take a few points off. And you got to love Godzilla growing levels right here. Look at that. Level 30 already, and well, he's about to come out with a Dew Blade. Let's go ahead and use Baconator for this whole situation right here. Now, they essentially have the same Pokemon except for their last one right here. So let me go ahead and take a look at the guide. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Let's see, okay, so, okay, so, let's go with a, a burn-up attack, just to do the same thing right here, okay, so, look at that, 
Burn up attack does its thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> what now? What now? What now? So, there you go. Baconator takes a hit. And, well, he's about to come out with a Bisharp. So, let's go ahead and take it, take it from here. Just, just pick the same Pokemon. Now, if you are taking on Sword you or Swordward, you're going to be taking on Surfitch, Galissapod, Dewblade, and Bisharp. Now, if you're taking on Shieldbert, which I will show after this whole thing right here, you're going to be taking on Surfitch, Bronzong, Phalanx, and Clean Clang. So, let's just go ahead and just destroy this team right here. All right, here we go. Fire Lash for the win. Oh, yes. You can't stop me because all my Pokemon are at level 80, except for Godzilla, Godzilla, which you will be eventually. Okay, so let's see what Galissapod is got under his sleeve. Uh, he does have a nice weakness to Electric type and Rock type, so let's go with the Blitzkrieg. Finish it off quickly. Okay, so Blitzkrieg, what's up? How you doing? And he's like, Phew! that's enough faffing around. I suppose it's time to get serious. Okay, all right. So here we go. Galissapod looking all mean and everything. Let's go with an overdrive. There we go. Overdrive for the win. Sigadai to Galissapod. Galissopod, or whatever you like to call it. And, well, more leveling up for Godzilla Godzilla right here. And there you go, guys. So, I'm going to cut off right here, and I'm going to go straight to Sword. That way you guys can see what it looks like to take on Shieldbert right here. Or, yeah, Sword from to Shieldbert right here. So... I'll be right back in a little bit, guys. Okay, guys. So here it is, our battle against Shieldbert. And, well... Yeah, he, he, he's not much of a difference from his brother. They do... They, they kind of do have... Uh, let's see. They do have one... Well, two fighting-type Pokemon, a Steel-type Pokemon, and all that stuff. So they shouldn't be that hard. Now, while I was battling our good old buddy, uh, Hop... He did manage to poison my Pokemon, so that right there is kind of like a big, big uh, issue. So, what's going to happen right now is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's go straight to Biozamon, and hopefully uh, it works out for the best right here. So, here we go, going with Biozamon. All right, Shieldbert, bring it on. You're using your Iron Defense. That's good. Okay, fine. It's fine. But my Pokemon Shield Team will actually destroy you right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a Hammer Arm. Oh, wow. Why did I go for a Hammer Arm? I oh. And that right there lowers our speed a bit. So now this guy is going to heighten up his defense like nobody's business. Okay. So let's see what happens. Let's go Spirit Break. And, uh, well, here comes a Leaf Blade. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. So there it is. Spirit Break for the win. Eat it. And that right there nearly takes out Surfish, but it actually decreases his special attack, which is not that great. So here we go one more time, and here comes a Meteor Assault right back at me. Not as, oh wow, not as powerful, but it lowers my, my HP a lot. So here we go. Another Spirit Break for the win. Eat it, Surfish. Okay, alrighty. So everybody's leveling up. Godzilla, Godzilla, of course, is leveling it up, too. And, well, it's about to come out with the Bronzong. So I think I should be going with the... Uh, well, so I think I should be going with the... Uh, well, I should go with this guy. But Bronzong is a... Uh, he is a, uh, a, a, a Psychic-type Pokemon. So we're just going to be doing this. We're going to be switching it out. And uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go. Right. Let's see what Bronzong can do right here, level 60. You see, we're like at least 20 levels above, so let's go straight for a burn up. Let's go, Krakatoa. Eat it. Bam! Destroys Bronzong right here. Takes away my fire type capabilities right here, and well, there we go. And more, a more leveling up for all of our Pokemon right here. And, well, Shieldbert is done, and she, or he is going to be coming out with a Phalanx right here. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Phalanx is, of course, a fighting-type Pokemon. So, let's go with Deadshot right here, since I don't necessarily have uh, Mr. Rhyme with me right now. And, well, let's see what Deadshot can do right here. Let's go, Phalanx. See what you got! Phalanx. 
You ain't nothing. So here we go. Hydro pump. We're just going to beat him with brute water right here. Brute water with our fingertip. That one takes away all its HP, and <laughs> it wasn't ready for that one right there. And, well, let's see what else can he get. It's going to come out with a clink clang. So let's go ahead and finish it off with eh, our good old buddy Drago, even though it's poisoned right now. Kind of is poisoned. Maybe he is poisoned. No, he's really poisoned right here. So let's go right ahead. And he's like, no warm-up. It's time to beat you hollow. Okay. All righty. So here comes Kling Clang. Looking mean as always. And, well, time to use the Aurora Sphere, a.k.a. the Kamehameha. But unfortunately, we get ourselves protected and all that stuff. So here comes an Aurora Sphere. Doesn't do anything. And, yes, we are hurt by the poison. Thanks to freaking Hop. You know what, Hop? I really do hope you lose to, the, to your opponents. I really do. So here we go. Aurora Sphere for the win. And say goodbye to Kling Clang. And that's the way you do it. Oh, yes. And everybody's growing levels yet again. Godzilla 2. And, well, Shilbert has been defeated. That's right. Throwing out that peace sign. And, yes, he's saying the same thing as his brother. So this has been the battle against Shilbert. Let's go back and see what happens after this whole battle right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty. So after you defeat both either Sword or Shieldbert, they're going to return to you the Rusted Sword or the Rusted Shield. And, well, of course, the guy that you defeat is just going to be pissed off at you. But look at this. Tsk, or Tisk. To somehow uh, have defeated uh, the adorable Pokemon I go strolling uh, with, you're certainly strong. However, it appears my younger brother was victorious. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> Hop, you need to quit Pokemon. You need you seriously need to quit Pokemon. Every single time. Every single time we take on somebody big or major or whatever. You always shit the bed. Quit. Just quit. You're not your brother, okay? Whew, man. Alright. Sorry, Draven. I lost to him. Well, duh. I'm, I'm like right there laughing with it. <laughs> oh, man, what kind of a friend am I? I'm the worst kind of friend. <laughs> Something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Seriously, you don't concentrate at all, man. <laughs> Older brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he has a present during the destruction of the, or he was also present during the destruction of the Magnificent Mural or uh, our ancestors are so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute. Destroying the mural our family has held in such high esteem for a long... Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zacian and the others? And hold a moment, Draven wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, 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 stop! Give back the sword! Hold on, Hop! Ugh, that kid. He's gone off recklessly, uh, run off. Well, at least you're calm, Draven. I expect as much. That's right. Calm, cool, collected. Shisoisen. I'm surprised that lost ho uh, or Hop lost to someone like that. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I, I, I'm the hero of this story. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Well, to me, if if if, if, I, if I if you ask me, that to me is karma because the kid was talking shit from day one, and because of that, he's getting a taste of his own medicine. His best friend, i.e., me, the worst friend ever, becomes the champion of the world, and uh, yeah, 
takes it before his eyes. And I'm, I'm just rubbing it all over his face, too. I don't mind. I don't care. I actually enjoy rubbing it in his face. Anyway, Sword and Shilbert, was it? I think I might know something about those two uh, weirdos went. Shall we go over to the lab at Wedgehurst? Sure, let's go. I bet I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later then. I, I'll head back to uh, the lab. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to stop right here, guys. That was part one of uh, this whole adventure. I definitely had my laugh. Oh, my God. Hop deserved every little bit of that, okay? He deserved all that. So stay tuned in the next episode. This post game is going to get a lot more interesting because we're going to be taking a l we're going to be taking on a lot of Dynamax Pokemon and well, who knows? Who knows where where this will uh, where this will lead us at the very end. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. See you guys.